I mean, buying a camera for less than 24 hours and having such situation here, I actually don't know how to deal with it. But once again, it is one of those things. And I mean, the amount that I'm having charged for the wedding is not even worth this camera here. So yeah, I was booked all the way from SA. I mean, it was a recommendation from SA, one of my buddies, and I do know the groom. I was booked, I mean, a month ago, somewhere there. And honestly, to get things straightforward, the experience was very, very terrible. Things didn't go well. Things didn't go as planned, and shit happens, right? So yeah um i was booked and apparently everything was settled location and everything was intact so i went there a day before the due date to assess the location and make sure everything will be perfect for the exact date of the wedding so they booked an accommodation everything was fine and going with a single camera wasn't ideal because i am only one man band and i didn't know how everything was gonna turn out so i'm like okay cool let me just add an additional camera to the kit and see how everything turns out i mean i do know the guy so i wanted to give him the best results as possible so yeah um i bought another camera we will we'll get to that in a bit i went with a couple of gears here and the gimbals extra lenses and all that but <laughs> my camera got broken yeah this is actually the first time that a camera has i mean <laughs> a camera has broken down in my hands this is the first time that a camera has died in my hands it has never happened before i mean in my entire career of filmmaking cinematography photography i've never had a camera died in my hands so yeah um I mean, uh, whilst we were shooting there were a bit of rain it, it wasn't that ideal and i do know that a 70 d is a weather seal so i was busy filming i mean as usual and it wasn't like a massive rain just like a splash i don't actually know if it was due to the rain or the camera had its own sickness i i really don't know but yeah we shot a couple of footages photos videos here and there I'm, i was actually doing everything at the beginning i was shooting photos and videos until assistance came in and i had to deal with videos only so I mean, I was using both cameras here and there, and it got to a point the camera started misbehaving. I mean, when you shoot, it just freezes, and when it freezes, it shuts down. It doesn't even shut down. I have to take off the battery to shut it down, and then when you turn it back on, it comes back on. So I did that. I mean, I've, I did that multiple times, and I was using both cameras, and... Later on, it shut down. I tried to put it on, and the camera said, Hey, not this time. So, I don't know. This is the camera. I have the camera with me here. This is the 70D. I actually have, I'm using the same one. I mean, that's what you guys are viewing me from. So, this is it. It came with a lens charger and a couple of um, extras. Let me just demonstrate everything to you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah this battery got a bit of juice in there. So, let me maybe i might be lucky you never know <laughs> so there we go i've been trying to it's even on already i mean I've, I've turned the button on already but nothing so it's i don't know what is actually happening when you turn it on nothing it doesn't even blink no display nothing like I don't know what is happening at this point i feel like smashing this to my head right now because i mean buying a camera for less than 24 hours and having such situation here i actually don't know how to deal with it but once again it is one of those things and i mean the amount that i'm having charged for the wedding is not even worth this camera here so it's basically a loss and that that is even out of the equation i mean if this is the only thing that went wrong at the event 
I think maybe I could probably deal with it. But that's not all. I mean, I don't know what happened if I was cursed. I don't know what happened if Obi Yemi Juju, Obi Yemi Drew. I don't know, but honestly, attending this wedding, me being booked there was a very bad idea it i wasn't supposed to be there honestly i think the best thing that i was supposed to have done was to call for assistance i mean call someone who is even in a crowd closer to the venue to handle this whole thing but i felt like um since i know the person i mean all the way from sa um it's just best i do go and assist him and this is how it turns out so as i was on the field i mean i was trying to mic the groom and the bride here and there to get their voices through the uh, or i mean the video uh, so i can edit them perfectly with their sound and all that so I, I actually went with this boyer microphone that you guys are seeing here and whilst i was doing the, i mean in and out changing mic in each one of the mic got lost a lot of strange things happen at the venue man like what one of the mic just got lost how i don't know it was with me and all of a sudden boom i can't find it so we did a bit of announcement here and there i mean we we really announced the mic that i'm using is a boya and it comes with the receiver out i mean which one is the transmitter and which one is the receiver whatever man so it's got one on the camera which receives the audio yeah so that should be the receiver and it's got this one here so this one is actually two of them in case you want to mic another person you can use where is it so this is the second one here i'm not sure if you guys can see it properly but it's got lost and after a couple of announcements i mean here and there it was returned and when it came in it doesn't come on again i'm trying to turn it on like my hands are on the power button but nothing i've tried all i can i've knocked it down several times it doesn't want to come on i don't know what happened maybe when they found it it's received a couple of steps maybe a people stepped on it i don't know maybe someone poured it water i don't know i've tried to charge it multiple hours nothing is happening so at this point i honestly don't know what to do because a lot of things did not go well i mean it, right now speaking to you guys i'm not even supposed to be in front of the camera but i think it's just best i express myself now because if time goes by i, I wouldn't be able to express my whole feelings because right now i'm in pain honestly um i'm really hurt so a camera down a microphone down and yes that's not the only thing i was actually thinking that could be it but no that's not the only thing so at the venue i mean we shot the whole thing on saturday and sunday i departed from the place they call this thing a bob is it a boboya or what that tricycle thing so i went to call one by the roadside to pack my luggage my bag and the cameras and everything just to head to the nearest station to get a car back to cove town and Everything was fine. I got it. I mean, I got the, the, the tricycle. It went to my hotel room. Uh, we packed everything in. While I was on the way heading to the station to get a car, I mean, all of a sudden, I can't find one of the bag. Just like that. Yeah. I'm also surprised as you are. I can't find one of my luggage. And <laughs> the luggage actually contained a white shirt. I think in my previous video, I was wearing that shirt. So that white shirt, it's actually written immune something I can recall. It's gone. And another shorts, gone. My very favorite headphones from Oraimo, it's also gone. So I'm planning to buy another one as we speak. And a couple of things. I mean, some personal stuff that I can recall. But I guess as time goes on, I'll be able to remember everything so i've lost a whole bunch of things and trust me um it's it, this this whole thing was a very bad idea that is why sometimes when you guys call us and we charge you certain amounts it's 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 not for you guys to i mean argue or try to negotiate about prices we do know what actually goes involved everything that goes into coming to a venue to handle that I still got a dating to do. I haven't even started editing the footages. I still got to do all that, share them to you. So a lot of things goes into play. And 
coming to help spending way more than what i'm gaining then what is the use so at this point i'm gonna have to buy another set of microphone even though i still have one which is working here but you cannot trust just the single pair because sometimes you might have another person who also needs another mic and that is going to be a problem or sometimes i mean it's just best you have two of them you don't even know when this will go off i mean you don't know when it's gonna die so this camera here this useless camera i honestly don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do to it maybe i'll sell it but who is gonna buy it <laughs> someone can use it for parts or yeah because i the straight i mean the screen um the battery a couple of things are still okay so i don't even want to go in the process of sending it to i mean a professional person to have a look at it i mean it's even another cost of money and at the end of the day they might not be able to fix it that is another cost and time wasting transportation so i just want to do away with it so if ever you're in ghana and you're interested i think i'll let it go for 900 900 cities so if ever you're interested reach out to me let's talk business uh, it's a loss but <laughs> it is part of it it's one of those things i mean uh, my first experience in ghana shooting a wedding and this happens this is crazy <laughs> this is very crazy anyway so guys um thanks for coming if you are new subscribe to the channel this is what i do photography videography anything graphy i'll see you in the next video peace kudos to you uh but y'all he's a break behind the photograph uh, the videography of this very program kudos to vimless and his service is mobile you can follow him on all the social